Hello, this is Seth Willie, and today I'm having trouble with my asthma. So today I'm doing attic film reviews. Today I'm reviewing the house with the clock in its walls. The house with the clock in its walls is based on a fantasy book by John Blair's. Released 45 years ago. It's directed by Eli Roth, whose past works include Cabin Fever and the latest Death Wish movie. The main character is Louis Bonneville, played by Owen Vicaro, who is a 10-year-old orphan who goes to live in Michigan with his uncle John, played by... Jack Black. Uncle John into some weird house that always ticks in an odd friend named Mrs. Zimmerman. The reason why these books start this way had to do with England and what happened during the World Wars. During the World Wars, the children were sent away from London for their prediction because Germany bombed London multiple times. In the Second World War, they used the Mr. Smith BF-109 and the Dornier bombers, but they also bombed London during World War I using a Zeppelin called LZ-38. Orphans fleeing London aboard northbound trains was a permanent memory of the wars and found its way into the fantasy novel. When Lewis arrives in Michigan, he soon finds that his uncle is a warlock and he becomes a warlock apprentice. Normally, I hate the fantasy genre. It always starts with kids being sent far away to live with their distant relatives, a lion witch in the wardrobe, lemony snigger, Harry Potter, etc. As a wizard apprentice, Lewis finds out that an evil warlock named Isaac Izzard, played by Kyle MacLachlan, created a clock inside the house that will end the world after it finishes ticking down. If you haven't guessed it, this is a fun movie. Kate Blanchett and Jack Black have plenty of chemistry. Jack Black feeds off Blanchett's acting, and it's hard not to believe they aren't best friends in real life. This is a family-friendly movie, and will entertain young adults, teenagers, and adults alike. The director insisted on real sets over CGI, which is good. CGI is one of the reasons a wrinkle in time failed at the box office. The house with the clock in its walls has a real feel and it just works. This probably is Eli Ross' best movie in the respect that it's really well crafted and well executed. You can tell that this is going to be someone's favorite childhood film. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, ring my bell for notifications, visit my links in the comment box below. And I'll see you in the next movie review.